In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to configure the editing options in your program to make it work the way you like to work. So we'll click on the gear at the top, and then with this chosen, we'll move down to the fifth item called editing. There's lots of stuff here that you can tweak, and let's show you a little bit about it. The first one is the, the default transition you want on your timeline between, say, video clips, for example. You can choose between a crossfade and an overlap. And in the lessons where we show you both of these, you can tell the difference between the two. Uh, it will set it to one or the other as a default, and this is where you pick which one you prefer to use. The default workspace can be one of two options. It can be timeline or storyboard. Now, what's the difference between the two? Well, let me show you quickly. Uh, this is a default with a timeline. I click on the icon here, and it's the storyboard view. Most people like to work, at least at first, in the timeline view, unless it's a long and complicated project. And that's what that default happens to, to uh, deal with. So if we're in the editing mode uh, and you like the timeline, leave it here. If you want to switch to storyboard, pick the other option. Uh, you can also add a transition between photos when apply, applying your magic motion. So whatever transition type has been selected using magic motion, it will apply to all photos. If not, simply uncheck this, and then it gives a transition type that you may use. The next option down is to add an effect and title when using a freeze frame. Uh, this will give you uh, more on the screen that you can edit when you're freezing a frame, or you can say, you know, I want to do this manually. I tend to leave this one off. The next one I like is enable continuous thumbnails on a video clip for easy scene recognition. If you have a video clip, uh, part of it will show with a thumbnail. And then this is an example of the thumbnail over here. But if you have a long clip, what will happen is it will show this thumbnail and you may have all kinds of scenes moving forward in your timeline. If you do this, it, the image will actually change during the duration of the clip, unless it's very, very short. And uh, so you can kind of guess where some scene changes might be inside a longer clip. That's a good one. Uh, another one that I often will click on will be this one, which is switch to movie mode automatically during playback. You notice you have a clip mode and a movie mode, and they look differently when you're playing back your video. Um, we have a lesson uh, that is available at Sharper Turtle on that as well. Enable snap two clips in timeline. I think this is a no-brainer. It's really nice to be able to uh, let the clips snap to each other and not worry if you have a few frames of blank space between them. Enlarge timeline scale for audio track. What is that one about? What this does is when you have this box checked, it allows for easier mixing of audio in track. It allows you to sync down to one-tenth of a frame. Now it makes your uh, visual a little bit more complicated, but it gives you a lot more precision when you're in the audio realm. And that's what this one is. The next six are very important. Uh, how long do you want image files to take up on your timeline when you drop them in? You can set the default in seconds and fractions of seconds. Uh, you can start at five. How about titles? How long should titles be? 10, you can go up or down. You can highlight over it, type a new number, like you can say eight uh, or fractions of a second, and then you can adjust it any way you like. Transitions, how long do you want transitions to be? Um, Again, this is not the default. I forget what it started out with. I think it's maybe five seconds. But uh, you can always change these, of course, as you get in your projects. But it's nice to have a number to start with that uh, kind of fits the way you like to work. 
How long do you want the effect to last? How long do you want the magic uh, music uh, to begin to play? Those are important decisions that you have to make when you're looking at those durations and how long for subtitles. Um, for me, the most important ones in these are how long for my image file, how long for my title file, how long for my transitions. We have something about customizing the keyboard. We'll have a separate lesson on that one. And so though, that's a, a quick overview of the way in which you can customize your editing features in CyberLink PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.